Hi there. As already mentioned, my name's Austin, and I'm an onboarding specialist here at Cellbrite. If you are just now joining us, I want to thank you for attending today's onboarding and going live webinar. In this webinar, we will cover connecting your sales channels, building products, and turning on inventory sync in Cellbrite. These are the three critical steps to complete before you can go live and begin listing. This webinar is the quickest way for you to start your trial or set up your newly subscribed account. Before jumping into the software, there are a couple of things that you should keep in mind. First, have all of your login credentials ready to go. For example, we're going to connect eBay, Etsy, and Shopify. So you'll need your login emails and passwords for each of these channels. Second, consider how you have your products organized. The most efficient way to streamline your go-live process is to ensure the stock keeping units or SKUs are the same across all of your sales channels. We strongly advise you check this and fix SKUs before connecting your channels to Cellbrite. Doing so will save you lots of data cleanup. If you don't have the same SKUs or are not using SKUs at all, Cellbrite can still work for you. We will address how to set this situation up later. Now, let's take a look at the system. When you first log into your Cellbrite account, you will land in your Cellbrite dashboard. You will see sample stats until you set up your account and add data to Cellbrite. At the top of the dashboard, you'll see Cellbrite's setup guide, which is our recommended way of getting set up. There are three basic steps in Cellbrite's setup guide. First, connect the sales channels you want to use with Cellbrite. Second, build your products in Cellbrite from one of your sales channels. Third, link all of your listings to these products. Let's go through this in detail. Step one, connect your channels. Click the connect your channel button under step one where you sell. A pop-up appears with information about this step. One thing to note here, once you connect your channel, Cellbrite will import the listings from that channel and attempt to download your channel's historical order data for the last 90 days. Not all channels provide historical orders, but most do. You can connect your channels in any order. Let's connect eBay first. Subway asks us to enter our nickname for the eBay channel. Let's call this store Bright Seller eBay. If you have multiple eBay stores, for example, make sure to give each channel its own unique nickname. Subbrite so doesn't allow sales channels to share the same nickname. Click connect your account and Subbrite so will open up a pop-up with a login screen for eBay. If you don't see this pop-up, check to see if you have pop-ups blocked. Enter your eBay login credentials to give Subbrite access to your eBay account. You need to authorize Subbrite to gain access to your account. Once completed, you will be redirected back to Subbrite. And it looks like eBay is now connected to Cellbrite. Let's add Etsy and Shopify to Cellbrite. Once all channels are added, Cellbrite will start importing the listings from each of the channels. Reminder, certain channels have specific instructions you must follow to connect them to Cellbrite. Go to support.cellbrite.com to find out how to connect these sales channels. Now that I have all of my sales channels connected, it's time for step two. Step two, choosing how to build products. In the setup guide, step two is to choose which channel you want to build your products from. Products are the backbone of Cellbrite, a product store's quantity, pricing, and product data. Products control the, that data that's shown in your sales channels through a process of which is called linking, which we'll touch on in a bit. When choosing a channel to build products from, think about these three things. One, which channel has the highest number of your products listed on it? Two, which channel has the most accurate and robust data about those products? And three, does this channel provide Subrite all of the data? Some channels restrict what data Subrite can retrieve. My eBay channel has all 20 products that we sell listed, so let's pick eBay to build products into Cellbrite. eBay is a great channel to build products from because Cellbrite is able to retrieve nearly all of the data available. By comparison, Amazon and Walmart are not the best options to build your products because they do not provide multiple images or descriptions to the Cellbrite software. 
So if you build from one of these channels, you'll likely have to go back and enrich your product data during the go live process. So I click the eBay icon to start to build my products from eBay. Remember, Subrite has already imported my listings from eBay during step one. So now in step two, it is using the data from those listings to build products. Quick tip, if you do not want to build your products into Sellbrite from a sales channel, you have another option. Sellbrite allows you to build your products using a CSV file, which is a spreadsheet. If you have Excel or Google Sheets, then you can add your product data to Sellbrite's product CSV to build products that way. With the CSV, you can enter all products into that CSV at once, and be sure that your entire product catalog is added to Sellbrite, regardless of where your products are being sold. You also have access to our API, but that's for more advanced users. Through the API, you can build products from any other third-party platform that has an open API. To learn more about that, you can check out de developer.sellbrite.com. Whichever option you choose, products must be built in Subrite before you can move forward. Step three, ready to sell. Link listings to Subrite products. To review where we are, Subrite is downloading the listings from the sales channels we connected. Then, Subrite will build products from the eBay channel. Once that is done, it's time for step three, linking the listings from the other channels to the products created in Subrite. Linking is super important. It's the function through which Subrite manages your sales channel data. If you imagine a bicycle wheel, products in Subrite are the hub, and each channel listing is a spoke. So one product will control the data for all the listings for that product across every sales channel. Subrite links listings to products based on the SKU, which is why Subrite recommends merchants use the same SKUs across their sales channels. Once you click OK Got It, Subrite will link your listings to the product with a matching SKU. There won't be a process bar, so you may not think anything is happening, but it is. Afterward, our final step is to make sure that all listings are linked to a product. We do this from the Listings tab. Since we chose to build products from eBay, all of the eBay listings should be linked to products. Let's run a quick filter to see if this is the case. Uh-oh, it looks like two of the listings from eBay didn't get built as products. Let's take a look at those listings. Okay, it looks like the SKU for this listing is the same as another listing. This has prevented the product from being built. Subrite so requires that all product SKUs be unique. So if you have duplicate SKUs in your listings, Subrite so will not build products for those listings during the setup process. To fix this, you need to assign unique SKUs to each listing. Let's adjust it. Click on the title of the listing to go to the Edit Listing page to update the SKU. Once updated, click Save and Publish. The new SKU gets saved to Sellbrite and published to eBay. As a note, you can update SKUs on any channel in this way, except for Amazon. Amazon does not allow merchants to change SKUs for their listings. Now we can create products from these eBay listings. Let's go back to all of our eBay listings by clicking Back to Listings Manager. If we hover above the unlinked icon represented as a broken chain link in red circle next to the listing, two options will appear. Since we don't yet have a product for this listing, let's click Create New Product. This will build a new product in Cellbrite. Let's do the same thing for the second product. Click on the unlinked icon and click Create New Product. Now, both of these listings are linked to products along with the rest of the eBay listings. Let's check out the other sales channels. Click on the Listings tab and then the Etsy icon to see the Etsy listings. Let's run a filter to see if there are any unlinked Etsy listings. It looks like there is one unlinked Etsy listing. This product is listed on eBay, so we'd expect to see it in Sellbrite. Hover over the unlinked icon and click to link to a product. Now we can search for a product to link this listing to. You can search by keywords, title, or by the exact SKU. 
Let's go ahead and search by title. Cellrite found a match. It looks like the product SKU in Cellrite is different from the SKU on Etsy. This means the SKUs between the eBay and Etsy listings do not match. No worries, we can manually link this Etsy listing to the product by clicking select. Success! The Etsy listing is now linked to the product in Cellrite. Let's head over to the Shopify channel to confirm that all the Shopify listings are linked to products. And it looks like we have a couple of unlinked listings here. Some of the products listed on Shopify aren't listed on eBay. And since we built our products only from the eBay listings, these Shopify listings could not link to a product in Cellbrite. We need to build new products in Cellbrite from these listings. Click the linking icon to create a new product. You'll need to repeat this for each unlinked listing. If you have a large number of listings that aren't built as products, run an import from Shopify to build products in bulk. This is technically what we did for eBay during the setup guide, but let's do this for the Shopify channel. Click the import from Shopify button and sell right. Select yes, auto build products. They do not already exist in my catalog. This option imports listings from Shopify and allows Subrite to automatically build products from these listings. Subrite will build products from these listings automatically and add them to the products tab, just like Subrite did with eBay during the setup guide. The second option imports hidden listings. Let's leave that unchecked for now. We can always come back to import them from Shopify at a later time. Let's click begin import. It looks like Subway has now started to download the listings and build products from those listings. And it looks like all the listings are now linked or built in Subway. Now that we've done that, Subway will display where each product is listed in the products tab. If you go to all products, you'll be able to see all of your products and where they are listed. But more importantly, now that the listings are linked, we can use Subrite's inventory sync feature to keep quantity synchronized as things sell. Turning on inventory sync. Now that everything is linked, we can enable inventory sync on our sales channels. Inventory sync allows Subrite to make quantity changes to the listings on your sales channels. By default, this option is disabled to allow merchants to set up their accounts properly. It's a powerful feature, so do not turn this on unless you are sure that your listings are linked. Once you enable inventory sync, the quantity listed for each product in Subrite is the quantity that will be shown on all your listings. Since we built most products in Subrite from eBay listings, Subrite pulled the quantity in from those listings. That's the quantity that will be used and synced to your linked listings. Now that Subrite will control the listings inventory, you should not make any inventory changes in eBay. If you manually adjust quantities directly on eBay or any channel, Subrite will not recognize that change. Make all of your changes in Subrite on the inventory page or through the inventory CSV. Tip, confirm that the quantities listed for your Subrite products match the quantities in your physical warehouse. Once you confirmed your quantities, you are ready to turn on inventory sync. Go to the settings tab and click on the sales channel settings. Let's start with eBay. Click the gear icon next to the eBay channel to take a look at eBay's settings page. Inventory sync has to be enabled individually for each of your sales channels if you want Subrite to sync inventory updates. You can also set up inventory rules for each channel to limit the quantity that's displayed in the listings for that channel. The quantity percentage rule allows you to show a percentage of the available inventory. For example, if a product has 10 in inventory and eBay has a quantity percentage rule set to 60%, the listing will display six available for purchase. As this listing sells, the quantity in the product adjusts. So if the product's available inventory goes to eight, 
then the eBay listing will display four available for purchase. This rule rounds down. The maximum quantity rule allows you to never show a quantity higher than the rule you set. This means you can limit the available quantity shown in your listings. For example, a product has an inventory of 10 and a maximum quantity rule of 4. The listings on eBay will not show more than 4 until the available inventory in the product drops below the maximum quantity, which is 4. As soon as the inventory in the product goes to 3, then the listing will display 3, available for purchase. The minimum quantity sets a floor for the listing. This helps to keep selling even if your inventory and sell right is out of stock. This one should only be used if you can always fulfill an order no matter what. This is common for people who manufacture their own products or have multiple sources for inventory. Once inventory is synced, Subrite syncs the quantity you have in Subrite out to the channel every 15 minutes. Inventory sync must be turned on for every channel, as mentioned earlier. Let's go ahead and do that. First, Etsy. And then let's go ahead and do it for Shopify. Okay, now inventory is synced and it's enabled across all of our channels. We've completed step three and have covered the core steps to go live. To recap, we have connected all of the sales channels, built our product catalog in Subrite, linked all of our listings to the catalog, and turned on inventory sync. Now you can do the things like create listings or fulfill orders, which is why you signed up for Subrite. Let's go ahead and get to your questions.